happen in Game Six. So. Step Mark Schwartz, ESPN. Not only did CP hit you with the shimmy, he hit you with all of those shots at the end of the shot clock under pressure. How difficult was that to do? How difficult is it to be on the other end of that? And how can the Rockets win the series if he can't go in Game Six and Seven? A lot of questions. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Thank you. All right, let me see if I can roll it down. Uh, he had some tough ones that you got to live with, to be honest. I mean, uh, a lot of dribbles in ISO, and he kind of found a way to contort his body and get a, a shot off, and three of them went down. At the end of the day, obviously, good offense beats good, good defense any day of the week, but you made them work, and that's what you, you got to do. Um, obviously, you know, I don't want to speak on the injury until you know what the situation is, so um, kind of leave that there. But they're, they're, they're a talented team, and, and everybody who touched the ball is a threat, and so you got to just be on, on alert at all times. And, and uh, the way he played in the third quarter and those tough shots to keep him close. Steph, Ron Crosby from the San Francisco Chronicle. Can you describe that this next to last possession when you took some of the running bank shot? That you looked surprised it didn't go in. Obviously, we've seen you make that shot. It looked like a very difficult one, as contested. Just how did that unfold, and, and what was your thinking as it happened? Uh, yeah, with 22 seconds left, we want to go quick, just in case. Obviously, we missed that we can still have another life. Um, with the other foul and get another possession is still a one possession game so I try to, to make a read get to my right hand um, I let it go it felt good just a little strong off the glass uh, thought maybe I could try to initiate a little bit of contact but uh, B.J. Tucker came flying over and tried to get a good contest and I didn't even get to see it kind of land on the rim because their bodies toppled all over me on, on, on the baseline but uh, aggressive shot that I would love to make, but it didn't happen. Um, if I get another opportunity, I'm going to keep shooting. Last one. Chris Haynes, ESPN, Steph, Coach Kerr, uh, moments ago said he feels great about where the team is right now. You know, can, well, it's, it's, from the outside looking in, it don't look too great. So can, can you explain, like, is that the, how how can you have that type of feel being down? Because I think the way we played the last two games, we played good enough to win and just haven't got the job done. So going home game six, the way we play tonight, we can repeat that, take care of the turnovers, just stay you know, mentally locked in on the details of 48 minutes. We, we know we can get a win. Um, and we just with the talent that we have on this team and uh, the resiliency and, and, and whatnot, um, you know, we can, we, can get this, we can get the job done. And I think uh, I think we're excited about that opportunity going home to uh, get ourselves back in the series, stay alive, obviously, like I said, and, and, uh, and then worry about a game seven. So you know, we haven't we haven't been in this position before. You know, this team, the teams of old. So it's a chapter we need to uh, figure out and finish the story. Thank you. Tomorrow, Coach Kerr, Four Seasons Hotel, 10 o'clock in the morning. Third floor, Ballroom B. Well, we'll have uh, video and audio and the transcript for you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank Check this out. I know we're just coming off a, a pretty tough loss, but game six is in the bag. We're going to game seven, and we're going to win it in H-Town. You know.